Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name's Liz. For today's video, this is going to be my March Craft Club tutorial showing you how to put it together if you guys didn't know. I make and sell my own subscription box with wood craft kits and an exclusive paper scrapbook pack. If you guys want more information, I will leave the link to my website and how to sign up for my craft club down in the description box. And as you can tell, I am in, well, maybe you can tell, I'm in a different space. We moved recently, again, twice in the last six months. Let me tell you how fun that is. It's not very fun. <laughs> so anyways, I apologize for this video being late. You can expect the tutorials for my craft club to go up on the first of every single month. So uh, that's why this one is a little bit late because we moved on the first and that was a whole big fun thing. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into our March Craft Club tutorial. So this is the kit that you are going to get for March or that you should have already gotten for March along with this paper pack of scrapbook paper that has so many fun Easter prints in there. I'm loving the pastels and the bunnies. I just thought it was super cute. So I'm just going to start by taking my piece apart, removing all the pieces from the backing of the sign and I'm going to start painting the back piece first. And what I'm going to do is take some silver lining chalk paint from Waverly. I'm going to mix that with some water. I wanted this to be more of a stain look rather than a thick paint look. So I just mix that with a little bit of water and I paint over the entire backing. And then I'm going to take three of my larger pieces, the skinnier part that's going to go on the top part of the sign, the scalloped edge piece, and then your egg and flower piece. I'm going to paint all of those with my Waverly chalk paint in agave. And then for this middle, just kind of flat piece, <laughs> given all these names, apparently, I'm going to paint that with my Waverly chalk paint in white. And I just gave all of these one good coat. Once I am done with that, I'm going to take my welcome cut out and I'm going to paint that with that same silver lining and water mixture. Again, just one coat for this entire piece. Then I'm going to take my Dixie Belle paint in tea rose and I'm going to take three of the flowers and I'm going to paint that in that color. And then for the other three flowers, I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in maize. Now for the three flowers that are going to go on the top of our sign, I'm going to take the two smaller ones and I'm going to paint that with this flamingo coral color. And then for the largest flower, I'm going to paint that with my Waverly chalk paint in white. Now once I have everything painted, I'm going to start adding some scrapbook paper to the back of my eggs. I wanted those eggs to have a really fun background to them. So I just picked out three pieces of paper from the scrapbook paper pack and I am going to start by tracing the paper behind the egg just so that I can try to get this as close to the shape of the egg as possible. It's a little bit tricky but I'm just going to trace around it and then I'm going to cut that out and then I'll put it behind the egg again, see where I need to do some more trimming, 
put it back, trim again until I get it exactly the correct size that I need so that you don't see any overhang from the paper anywhere. And once I have that ready to go, I'm going to take my Gorilla Gel Super Glue and I'm just going to super glue my paper to the back of that egg. So just repeat those steps with the remaining four eggs. Again, just tracing out your paper and then trimming and trimming and trimming until you get it down to the correct size. And then we can move on to the flowers that are going to be glued on top of this piece. So you should have five flower pieces that are going to go on here. They all do have a correlating spot that they go on. So just make sure that you match them up before you start gluing them down. It is a little bit tricky to figure out where each one goes, but if you look at this picture, <laughs> you can figure out pretty easily where everything goes. So just make sure you get the flowers in the correct spot. And again, I just use my Gorilla Gel Super Glue to super glue those down. Once you have those flowers down, now you can move on to assembling the rest of your sign. I'm gonna take that larger piece, use some more gel super glue, and add it to the bottom of my round sign. Make sure that's all good. And then I'm gonna take my white chunky piece, put it right next to my eggs, then you're going to take your scalp piece, add some glue to the back of that, put it on top of that chunky piece, add your welcome word, again, just some gel super glue, and add that right to the middle wherever you want it. I added my flowers to the top with the biggest flower in the middle and then the two smaller flowers on the sides. Glue those down and then lastly you're just going to glue down your really skinny kind of top piece that finishes it, puts it all together. And that is how you can make your March Craft Club kit. This is how I finished it. By all means, paint it the colors that are your favorite. Use the scrap of paper that you love most. Make it however you want. That's what I love most about these kits is that there are so many different ways that you can finish it and to make it your own and to make it match your home style and what you love most. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below that I can help out with. I will definitely try to get to each and every one of them. And thank you so much for being patient during this move of ours. We really appreciate all the love and support that you guys have given us. That is it for today's tutorial. Let me know if you guys have any other questions that I can answer for you in the comments down below. Like I said, you can sign up to my monthly subscription box in the description. There will be a link that will take you over to my website where you can purchase the subscription box and sign up. I also have a ton of other fun woodcraft kits that you can buy over there. Lots of fun scrapbook paper. All the things are going to be linked down below if you guys want to check them out. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!